Legends of Tomorrow. We're on Season 2, Episode 9. This one's called Raiders of the Lost Art. So, guys, last episode, of course, was great. I cannot wait to check out this next one. We did see uh, Damian Dark and uh, Reverse Flash in this one. Of course, Reverse Flash is just such a great villain. Like, seriously. I mean, seeing uh, Damian Dark and him work together is just unbelievable. And we did see Malcolm Merlin in this episode as well uh, which i'm not surprised we see him because he's always part of something i mean we did see uh rip hunter at the end of the episode so hopefully they'll see him at this next episode and uh, he's a movie director or whatever you could tell he's kind of an asshole a little bit but but for me i just hope he does come back to the team i hope the team could convince him to come back i don't know i think it might be difficult i don't know what he's gonna do to be honest i really don't yeah anyways the patreon sponsor for today is from tom tom thank you for your wonderful support for this month i greatly appreciate it guys make sure you just go on the page and consider joining i appreciate any support that does come around anyway guys let's get into this next episode for legends of tomorrow <laughs> What's her status? The Wave Rider is surprisingly not destroyed, Captain. Though that condition may not be permanent. What is that, Captain? There are some things, Gideon, I can't even tell you. That's it. Initiate repair procedures. That's why you want to find him so you get it. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. you hear nothing absolutely nothing you weren't talking to me then snart snart what i've been talking to snart i've been seeing him lately you can fix me me you're a doctor of nuclear physics same thing <laughs> mr what? Murray, I can't. you can fix me and tell anybody about it so intense you got that here you got that look how scary how much for sunny california when we're done here we need to go to the 1600 block of vine street why pray tell it's where frank sinatra stars on the walk of fame i have always wanted to see uh, not so fast buddy wallets now just give us your motorcycles excuse me give us the bikes and we'll let you live. What are you, some sort of comedians or something? <laughs> oh, or something. That charming looking fellow is Cal DeVito. So dead? Killed, he's supposed to go on to invent a new carburetor for shovelhead motorcycles. Look, all I know is Gideon said the motorcycles dark and Merlin still are here. What? So we're just supposed to walk around until we see a sign that says this way? Good idea. Subjugating the world to your like... rule isn't saving it. Do not misquote Tastis to me. Is he really? I knew he's him remaking well. a movie. I lived of long enough to watch Civilized. Cut! Just stop. Cut, please. All right, cut. George. He's really creating a movie out of this. What do I do? Wait, it wasn't that bad. Rip Hunter. No, I'm the director. Rip's being played by Adam Glassman. He's probably at Craft Services. It's nice to see your reputation for dry humor is well earned. You guys are good. Yeah, these are these are great props. Did you make these yourself? Hey, we are on something of a clock here. It's Rip. Don't worry. We got you, Rip. The hell are you guys? We don't have time for this. Whoa! Get out of here. Save yourself. What about you? I can't leave my phone in there. Oh, we gotta go. Get out of the way. Stop. Do me. What you do? Oh, man. <laughs> Oh my God. They think you're going. My movie's inside these lunatics. Just you know, these up with them my movie. Can't wait. You're under arrest. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't remember nothing. Well, that went apocalyptically awful. Astonishing. It's really you. Yeah, it's me. Who are you? I'm your doctor, Mr. Gasmer. I'm here to... Uh, Take care of you. I have never laid eyes on you before in my life. Memory problems are a part of the delusion. I'll have to admit him. He can't be treated here. I am not crazy! Hey, I know, I know, it's okay. Look, my nah. name is Sarah Lance. This is Mick Rory and Martin Stein. We're your friends. Two of them are. You're one of them. Hey! Hey! Okay. hey. 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 What is wrong? Hey, listen to me, all right? Calm down. We're here to help you, Mick. Hey. 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 come out. Get away from me! Captain Hunter, you must listen to us! Why do you keep calling me? You are a time master. You fly the Wave Rider. It's a time ship. He has to see the ship. <laughs> There's no such thing as Rip Hunter, and there is no such thing as a time ship. There you go. There you go. That knocked him out. Ship. 
afraid the news isn't good, Captain. A deep scan reveals that Captain Hunter's neural architecture has been completely restructured. His limbic system reprogrammed with a new identity. Rip didn't forget who he was. He changed. I don't have a fort. What's wrong? Uh, I have memories that aren't there, and I should understand what this is, but I don't. Yeah, I feel it too. It is, it's happening right now. I'm reading this book about Santarian Longinuses, and it's just a... It's a bunch of words. I had Jax go and recover what he could find. Lucas. Wait, isn't that what you pretend you're allergic to? Rick? First of all, my gluten allergy is very real and challenging. Secondly, it's G. Lucas, as in George Lucas. Pull up George Lucas on the historical record. Named Modesto Hartman's insurance salesman of the year in 1977, 1980, and 1983. Three years. Hmm. What? That doesn't seem right. No. Is that a version of history where Mr. Lucas did something else with his life? George Lucas got to quit movie making. As a result, he never made some yeah. movie about space battles or another one about an improbably handsome archaeologist. Others because... <laughs> In the unaltered timeline, Indiana Dr. Palmer Jones. sees Star Wars as a child and is inspired to become an inventor. Likewise, Dr. Hayward chooses to be a historian after seeing Indiana Jones. As of today, George Lucas is no longer enrolled in film school. What? Look at George Lucas in here. Hey, George. Remember us? Hey, no. I had metallic skin. No, no. hey, George, George Lucas, wait. Look, oh, that's time takes George... time to harden, and sooner or later, we're gonna lose our superpowers the same way we're losing our memories. I haven't made any movies yet, okay? I'm still in film school. Wow. I was. That's the point. If you don't go back to school, you screw up both of our lives. We don't live up to our full potential. And I do not want to be a heart surgeon. And I don't want to be a yoga instructor. Sorry about my friends, I just... Completely insane? Yeah. But what they say is true. Okay, what? What, that you guys are from the, the future? That you've somehow seen a bunch of movies that I haven't even made yet? Actually, I'm from the past, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Look, George, I don't care about movies. Guys like them, they do. Just think about them, okay? Them and all the millions of other people that your stories will someday inspire. The it's future of the huge. entire Indiana world Jones is great. And you're our only hope. <laughs> you're, you're all the hope. I just change your mind, George Lucas. Going back to film school, definitely the right call. We agree. <laughs> Need no! One of the lost totems of Zambesi, right? Mr. Lucas, you have something that we have traveled a very long way to find. Where is it? Dude, he is Lady right. and gentlemen, if you don't mind, hands up. And if you do mind, we'd be happy to kill you. Where is the spear? What spear? The movie was done. I, I, I tossed all the props down the garbage chute. They were just trash. Oh! I have one question for you, Mr. Lucas, and your life depends on answering me honestly. Where's the city dump? You're going to. Seriously? You need a little incentive. Oh. Agreed. Oh my god. What was that? If we give them what they want, they're gonna kill us anyway. Okay, well then what do we do? They are going too slow. Shoot one of them to move things along. Oh! Then they got it. Hey, George, say it out loud. George Lucas, what do you really want? What I really want, what I really want. Say it. What I really want is to direct. There you go. <laughs> okay, take him out. Grab that as well. Oh! First flash. Go. So, who do we kill first? That would be me. Captain Rip Hunter. It's been ages. First time in recent memory, I am finally, truly, alive. Crap. Screw it. Get in! Fire! Fire everything! Yes! We gotta go! He's gone! Come on, man. Horse. We couldn't have got him. You know that, right? Yeah. 
Hello? Hello? Hey, man. Welcome, Captain Hunter. I know that you're one of the protectors of the Spear of Destiny, and I know that you know where the other pieces are hidden. I, I, I don't know anything. I, 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 I swear. You're going to torture me, aren't you? Oh, I'm not going to torture you, Mr. Hunter. They are. Oh, my God. Please, 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 let me go. Let me go! Well, guys, I'm not surprised that uh, Reverse Flash, Damian Dark, and Malcolm Merlin got uh, Rip Hunter. He doesn't remember who he is. And I was like, wait, basically this person that's in, you know, like his mind's completely changed into a different person. Like he does not know who he is, but it's like he has glimpsed memories of those certain events. That's why he's creating a movie out of like the cause and the, you know, cause legends. You know, he had the Spear of Destiny with him the entire time. He, he was just going to use it as a prop. George Lucas threw it out when he quit. And of course, they had to have George come back to uh, filming because uh, Nate was going to lose his powers. And of course, uh, Ray was going to lose his suit. So he, they had to get him back to, uh, you know, making those films like Star Wars, Indiana Jones, etc. So Professor Stein was helping uh, Mick with his problem. This is basically Mick telling himself this. Like he has, like, starts basically telling him exactly how he he already feels so he feels like he's getting soft or whatever he feels like he needs to get out the team or something like that a little bit you know little thoughts here and there but i'm pretty sure mick will stick around still but i cannot wait to check out the next episode like i said it's pretty cool to see all these three villains work together uh definitely reverse flash every time i see him you just get tensed up like seriously this is really how much this man this villain really changes up everything like reverse flash man it's like when he has being a speedster man he's powerful man the team can't really do too much to him but yeah anyway guys uh, please leave a like and a comment on the video make sure you just go on the patreon page to get the full reaction and also consider supporting the channel as well anyway guys will be as a wonderful day i'll see you guys next legends of tomorrow